right and i'm almost out of welding gas so wanted to get this done real quick so we'll uh weld some pieces in here let you guys kind of check it out on the sideline here and hopefully you guys will hang around with me and we'll get this done we'll see what happens with this Got some thin spots over here it looks like <laughs> this is gonna be all patches when I'm done but you can see how I did that just cut it laid out the top and then did some relief cuts here butted it around it's all butt welded in it's pretty straight not too bad a little filler will finish it uh, there's a thin spot here all the way up to there I didn't see I think I'm going to go ahead and strip it. I just was trying to use up some of my gas because uh, I'm almost out. So, um, so work on that one. Huh? Yeah, that's a little tougher. Probably the same. Just going to cut a piece and try and butt it a little bit along here, and then just start working it, cutting it, working it in. And it's such thick metal, you can just. You know, fill it in with a weld, no problem.
I still got a little touch up to do a little spot right there I see the hole it's kind of a little bit impure on the bottom but yeah it's fine yeah I butted all this in if anybody's wondering all I did was just start it in one place and then just cut it away with the plasma cutter and yeah I ended up with some wide gaps or whatever just filled them in a lot faster than trying to make a piece and trying to fit it in there and I'm not getting my arms all covered and you know cut off wheel stuff it works pretty good so anyway for for this kind of metal thicker metal it works great to use the the plasma cutter as a cutoff wheel so I'm just gonna make that piece there finish up this bumper I say this one will be done I guess I got it all set up, so I might as well finish it, I guess. We'll keep going. All right, so a little pounding, a little filler on there, not much. And get that bumper back straight again. All that stuff's all filled in. All holes are all done. So all these holes. Found a couple more. Probably find a couple more before I get it painted. So I get all the rust off of it. We will see.
Well, I got to tell you guys, um, there's a reason why when you take your bumpers to a car restore guy, that he charges a lot more than you might think to restore them. It takes a lot of time to do these. That's why it's cheaper just to go buy new ones. That's why you see a lot of them for sale at car shows because guys bought new ones and then other guys are restoring their old ones, which in man hours is a loss if you were to look at it that way but these are original i like thicker the thicker original bumpers so yeah it costs more it takes more time but yeah i think you end up with something really cool these are heavier the aftermarket you know ones are are good but they're just a lot thinner metal than these are a lot lighter weight Maybe not the knees. <laughs> These ones got a lot of rust on them. But still, they're cool. They're original. I just like to save them if you can. So these things are stripped down. And got to do some rust proofing to some of this stuff. And it's got another rust hole in it. I knew I'd find another one before I was done. That's the way it is. You think, oh yeah, there's only two rust holes. And then you find five or six seven and this thing you find unlimited <laughs> so that's the way it goes anyway we'll keep moving on these i don't know if i'll get to paint on this video on these but i'll try and get them prepped because it's it's really like i said it's so many hours to get the paint on these so i don't know they're not going to be that straight either i'm not going to get them all i don't know nobody really looks them that close usually this one looks like it might be bent. I'll maybe straighten them a little. Looks like it's going that way. Yeah. I'll tweak it. Do some more to it. Get them straighter. A little filler on some of this stuff. And at some point I'll just call it and paint them. Because literally if you try and get every dent out of them, you're just going to, it takes a lot of time. You could be into some serious time on these. Probably a lot more than you think. Whatever you think, about three times that, four times that. All right, so I've got this problem here. These nut certs came out of there. That one's a little trash, right? So what I've got is these. So I'm going to drill a hole here and a hole there and weld that from behind. These are the same type of thing as the nut cert. This thing's, how do you fix this type of stuff if you have one of these? I got these on Amazon. I think they're called welded, mm, welded nut certs. I think. I don't know. Kind of searched around for them, found them. It took a little while, and I got these. I also get these ones. They have these available at Wolfsburg West, but you can also buy them online for a bit less. They're just convenient if you're there, and they have these, and you can do the same thing. Drill holes next to it. And weld through it and clamp them in place as I'm going to do right now.
Hopefully they came out good in the video. Um, it just needs a little bit of filler. There's, it's not really that much. And, you know, this is compound bend. So this thing goes up this way, goes down that way. Um, the best way to do those sometimes is just butt in a half and then just start bending it till it's, till it's smooth. It's like you do any, any other butt weld. Um, you butt weld one end and then you just make this part to where there's you can't run your fingernail over it. You weld it and then bend it. Make it so you can't weld, put rubber finger all over it, weld it, bend it. So this one I had to grind, I made it a little bit too big of a piece. And then just weld it in the gaps, make it look good. It's a little shortcut there. There's a lot of, you just look at it after a while, you know, after you've been doing it a little while, you start looking at stuff and you just go, oh, I'll do the easy way. You know, you got other ideas you'll put together like that one. So just things to throw out there so you guys can think about stuff and, Tried a little few different things. Just faster. Just a little. And this bumper's kind of beat up. I'm not looking to get it perfect. Uh, I just want to get it done quickly. And if you spend too much time on something like this, like I said, a new one is, you know, a couple hundred bucks. You know, you could spend a mountain of time on these old bumpers and we wouldn't, wouldn't get you back anything. All right. well it looks like about these are ready this is the top of this one it has the holes for the uh where they are markers or poles over there and just need to prime them sand them one more time paint them we'll have that in a separate video so we're doing the candy cane bumpers you guys we are doing these definitely original red and white with the stripes going like like this and then going white we'll paint the bumpers all white we'll put the red stripes on them and then i'm going to use clear on over that so let's make them look really step this thing up it's going to be like a really cool looking uh bucket truck where it's like kind of like a show piece but not really you know we're not going full so we're going to make it into a really nice looking truck. It's going to be really cool with this, uh, with the red and white bumpers when they're on. So that's it for the, uh, using a plasma cutter to butt weld. Uh, it does work great on bumpers on 18 gauge on stuff. You're kind of roughing in. It works really good to do that. Um, if you're trying to get it really perfect, you know, spend a little more time, I guess, but it depends on what you're doing. You know, some things you can do this way. Like these old bumpers are not going to care. So I'll talk to you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let's see your comments. And make sure you get by and check out that bay window video. If you haven't watched it yet, uh, people, a lot of people aren't watching it because they think, oh, it's a bay window. It's no big thing. It's a really cool turnaround from start to finish. You guys who have watched that um, probably are pretty shocked in the difference between where it was before and where it was when it left. Uh, there's still more coming on that, too. Uh, I'll be doing a couple more videos on that video on that bus later. Um, we'll be doing the I'm gonna paint the bumpers for it too. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna be putting them on and we'll see how they look. Really look cool. We're not gonna do those candy cane though. They're gonna be original white. Talk to you in the next one.